this video I would like to describe lactate and some different uh, questions about lactate. Can you get energy from it? Uh, what happens to it? And then an, um, a cycle that is called the uh, Cori cycle. So a short video about lactate. And just um, there's some confusion out there. Uh, and this confusion remains. There's a slight difference between lactic acid and lactate. And this slide shows the difference. So lactic acid, it is an acid. So acids, by definition, want to donate or, or get rid of a hydrogen ion. Um, at physiological conditions or physiological pH, um, this lactic acid that is made and produced by fast anaerobic glycolysis, that lactic acid pretty much immediately dissociates, meaning the hydrogen ion leaves. So what you're left over with is a negatively charged lactate molecule. So what we see in the human body and what is you know, in the circulation um, officially, it's not lactic acid. Officially, it is lactate. Sort of a subtle difference, but an important difference. And you, um, the picture on the bottom of this screen is simply the chemical equation. Some things to be aware of, uh, that lactate is a three-carbon molecule. So there's one, two, three carbons. And we don't change the number of carbons going from lactic acid to lactate. There's still three carbons over here on the lactate molecule. What we do change is that acidic portion wants to get rid of an H. It wants to get rid of a hydrogen ion. So now there's a negatively charged, a negative charge there. And here's this hydrogen ion by itself. So what is in the circulation is probably mostly this lactate molecule. And there's still three carbons in that lactate molecule. So there's still some stored potential energy in this three carbon lactate. So is it possible to use lactate as a fuel source? Yes. We can send that lactate molecule into the mitochondria and get it burned up or used as a fuel source. So one um, uh, drink, one fluid, uh, replacement drink called Cytomax has some polylactates. So it actually has some lactates in this drink. In addition to carbohydrates or sugars, it has this polylactate. And this lactate molecule that then is in the circulation, it's in the bloodstream, it would then be taken up by a muscle cell, changed into pyruvate, and sent into the mitochondria. So if we <clears throat> look at this um, uh, little picture, we would have lactate that out, is out in the bloodstream. It would be sent or transported into a muscle cell and changed back into pyruvate, the three carbon molecule pyruvate. And then this then would go into the mitochondria, just like the slow oxidative aerobic energy system. And once it's in the mitochondria, it changes into acetyl-CoA, starts that citric acid cycle or Krebs cycle, and um, uh, electrons are passed to the electron transport chain. And this lactate molecule can change back into pyruvate uh, by an enzyme. And the name of this enzyme is called, or the abbreviation is LDH. And that stands for lactate dehydrogenase. So LDH is lactate dehydrogenase. And there's a couple forms of this enzyme. And there's two main forms. The one form that is found uh, in muscle cells and actually, it's found in fast twitch or anaerobic uh, or muscle cells that predominantly do anaerobic energy system. Uh, this enzyme is called LDH muscle or sometimes it's abbreviated LDHM. And that's the enzyme that converts pyruvic acid to lactic acid. So this is 
uh, this enzyme will produce more lactic acid. So pyruvate at the end of fast glycolysis, this enzyme is used then to turn, change that pyruvate out to lactic acid. LDH heart that was originally found in heart muscle, but also found in slow twitch or oxidative, and it's typically abbreviated type 1 muscle fibers. This LDH heart, and sometimes that's abbreviated LDHH, that is found in these oxidative fibers, and that will convert lactic acid back to pyruvic acid. So LDH heart is lactate back to pyruvate, and then that pyruvate could go into the mitochondria and be burned up, oxidized, and used as a fuel source. So uh, this lactate can be used as a fuel source, and there's a shuttle system around the human body where this lactate can be sent around the body and used as a fuel. And this is called the lactate shuttle. And a definition for the lactate shuttle is the movement or carrying or shuttling of lactate from a site of production and then it's moved around the body where lactate can be used as a substrate in other, other cells. Uh, and so uh, in the next slide, I'll describe what is this lactate shuttle. And also in the next slide, I'll describe, um, it's not officially part of the lactate shuttle, but I'll describe where this lactate can go, which is also another cycle called the Cori cycle. So what is this lactate shuttle? Here's a good definition for it. And I've copied a picture that describes this lactate shuttle. And again, it's from lactate from a site of production around the human body where it can be used for another fuel source. So let's look in the middle of this picture. And here's a fast twitch or a fast glycolytic fiber that is predominantly using anaerobic energy systems, like the immediate energy system or fast anaerobic glycolysis energy system to produce energy. So here we have glycogen being broken down to glucose 6-phosphate and then being broken down to lactic acid and lactate. So here is the site of production of lactate. This lactate molecule can be transported out of the muscle cell it can get into the circulation, so in the venous side of the circulation. And so it's going to be shuttled and moved to a site where it can be used as, ener as an energy source. The heart muscle at the top of this picture likes to use, it prefers to use lactate as a fuel source. So as I described, heart muscle cells would have a lot of that LDH heart form of the enzyme. It will take lactate, change it back into pyruvate, and send it into the mitochondria where it can be burned up as a fuel source. Lactate can continue in the circulation, and now it's in the arterial circulation, and it can go to a separate muscle cell. This separate muscle cell would be more of an oxidative or a slow twitch muscle fiber or muscle cell. So this muscle cell would take up lactate, change it back into pyruvate, and send it into the mitochondria where it can be burned up and used as a fuel source. Lactate can also be just sent to a neighboring muscle cell. So it doesn't necessarily need to go out into the circulation. If a neighboring muscle cell is more of a slow twitch fiber that has a lot of mitochondria, Lactate can just be transported to a neighboring muscle cell where it would be taken up, changed back into pyruvate, and then sent into the mitochondria for a fuel source. So this is a nice description or nice picture of the lactate shuttle. So lactate being shuttled or moved from a site of production around the human body where it can be used or oxidized as a fuel source in other cells. Um, another place where lactate can be moved um, is the liver, and this is called the Cori cycle. 
So the Cori cycle is the moving of lactate from a skeletal muscle, and again, probably a fast twitch anaerobic or a, a skeletal muscle predominantly using anaerobic energy systems, um, through the circulation to the liver. And so here's a, a simple picture that describes this Cori cycle. And I like this picture because it sort of has numbers in it. So you can sort of see what is um, uh, happening. So we will start over here with number one. And in an exercise condition, we're breaking down glucose or breaking down glycogen. Glucose 6-phosphate is broken up into two molecules of um, pyruvic acid that then would be changed um, by that LDH muscle, the LDHM form of the enzyme, to produce two molecules of lactic acid. This lactic acid then is transported out of the muscle cell and it's in the blood circulation. And so now it's in the circulation and it will go to the liver. So on the right hand side of this picture is the liver cell. Uh, these two lactate molecules will be taken up by the liver. And here the liver will use these lactate molecules as gluconeogenic precursors. So the panel on the right hand side of this picture, the arrows are going up and that represents gluconeogenesis, which is the formation of new glucose from some other um, precursor. And here the precursors are two molecules of lactate or lactic acid. And they change back into pyruvic acid and go up the process, up arrows, gluconeogenesis, to make new glucose 6-phosphate. And in the liver, this can be released into the blood as glucose. And so the liver can release glucose 6-phosphate as glucose in the blood. And then in the muscle cell, it could take up that glucose, phosphorylate it, change it into glucose 6-phosphate. And then if if energy is needed, then would be would break down that glucose 6-phosphate. So this is a Cori cycle of lactate being produced in a fast twitch muscle fiber, being sent to the liver to produce new glucose by gluconeogenesis, back out into the circulation as glucose and taken up again by a, uh, by a fast twitch muscle fiber. And so it's called the, um, called the Cori cycle.